Down in central Louisiana, a Bigfoot is on the loose, terrorizing people on their wooded property. The Gulf Coast Bigfoot Research Organization is planning on killing the aggressive critter before another animal or even human gets hurt. Amongst the Bigfoot community, this approach is controversial to say the least. If you're going out there to kill a Sasquatch, what gives you the right to do that? You know, the police, law enforcement agencies, conservation officers, I don't think they take kindly to the notion of people running around forests with guns, trying to stalk a bipedal hairy hominid. There are dangers to other people. To me, hunting and trying to kill a Sasquatch is rank insanity. They got personalities, I feel, just like humans do. And you've got bad people out there that, that need to be locked up or taken care of one way or the other. After I left Gulf Coast, I actually had much better luck putting my gun down and going and trying to be friendly than I did going armed to the teeth to the woods. So that's my model now. I try to go out there and uh, I want to, to do the Jane Goodall approach, if you will. The thing about it is when you're out there, you want to be with people that you can trust. You want to know that you can be with somebody that has your back. And these guys right here, they're like my brothers. I know I can depend on them. They know they can depend on me. Before the night hunt, they're checking for recent signs of the monsters in the area. We can actually put a, a game camera inside. I'd like, I wouldn't want to hang it on this tree right here, okay. but hang it over to this side so when they come in, then we can capture them hopefully right there. The team is looking for clues that Bigfoot's near Miss Shirley's house. Hair, tracks, and signs of broken branches up high. You see that limb right there? That's, that was out to here. Then, a possible Bigfoot trail. See how flattened out all this is through here? You know, if it's deer tracks, it'd be a bunch of little indentions. Right. That's just flattened out, or something. It's done this and walking through this. Mm -hmm. Flat through it. Yeah. Don's been pursuing the creature since a scary encounter when he was 12 and out hunting with a friend. Get to the top of the hill, and we find, look over there, there's a dead hog laying there, and it's quivering. Its back legs Dude, were broken. Right. And we look up in the tree, there was a rib One, bone two, of that pig three, or something four, that grabbed five, its hind legs and slammed it seven, into that tree so eight, hard it broke eight, off eight, a rib eight, bone. Three. Bigfoot signs today are snap branches up high. All right, right in here, you can see, if you pulled it, and, and just pull back without breaking it, it would have pulled the bark all the way to here. But here, this was snapped and pulled back this way to break off. Well, the house is up here where they've been coming in. So they're coming through here anyhow. Looks like Bigfoot's moving on forest trails between Miss Shirley's and the property next door. What we found in the past is these creatures would find like a, an old tree and they would come lay deadfall branches up on these things, and they'd crawl and bed up and under this, this area right in here for protection. See if I can ease up in here and see if I might be able to possibly find a hair sample or something that might have stuck up in here on some of these old limbs. 